All right, y'all, so we're back out here at the landscaping shop, and today we're headed out to Lakeside Cabin to go put in some brand new boat lifts. So we got to figure out what we're going to take here. I'm thinking the new Bobcat, because that's probably going to work best for getting those new boat lifts into the water there. We also have to build a dock when we're there, so that should be interesting. Also, I do believe we're going to have to haul in some gravel, so we're probably just going to bring the dump trailer. That should work the best. And that way we can actually haul everything in that too. Also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, help me out by giving that like button a little tap. It helps out the video a ton and I appreciate it so much. Okay, so it turns out the uh, gooseneck hitch on this truck is not going to work for that dump trailer. So we're going to have to go grab the other truck instead, which is kind of unfortunate because I really would have loved to use this one. But oh, well, there we go. This truck should work a little bit better. Dang, still will not work. Okay, uh, I guess we'll just take a gooseneck instead. Huh, that's really weird. Well, I guess if we need to, we can still rent one. Kind of a shame it doesn't work on the new trucks, but oh well. A flat deck will work too. At least for hauling the equipment, uh, as far as hauling the gravel goes, we may need to figure out something else. But for now, this should work. Okay, so we're going to need the mini skid steer. Also going to grab our new bobcat here, the fancy one. Oh, I got to grab the forks too. And we'll see if we can grab it with this. Well, we ended up getting it to work. And uh, well, it's not the best, but at least it stays on there. Probably not the safest option either, but yeah, I think we'll be fine. And then we're also going to toss the quad on here real quick because I think we're going to need it. So may as well just bring it to be safe. Apparently, this lake property that we're going to is pretty big, so it could probably use something to get around there. All right, truck is loaded down here. I think we got everything we need for this job for now, at least. If we don't, well, I'm pretty sure I'd remember about halfway through the trip. So then we'd have to turn all the way around. But I'm pretty sure we actually have everything we're going to need for this time, at least. And we are on the road. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, y'all, so we're just pulling in now. I think we keep going past this uh, boat launch. And here we go. This is the place, I do believe. Uh, I guess let's just park right here for now. So the customer is currently away right now, but they did give me instructions on exactly what they wanted for this boat launch here. And it's pretty straightforward and simple. So basically, we're going to build a dock that just goes right out here. And then we're going to slide in some boat lifts. And uh, I think it should work out pretty good. They already kind of built this little ramp deal here. So it's going to be pretty straightforward to build a dock and whatever. We may have to get some more gravel in. And since we couldn't bring that dump trailer, we talked to a few gravel companies and they would be willing to deliver out to us. So that should be pretty easy if we do need some. But for now, I think we got to get everything unloaded. We're going to head into town. We've already got some materials bought. We got to go pick up so we can build a dock. And then the boat lifts, we just have them on the trailer. Get them down here and we can unload them with a skid steer and get them down in the water. So that's going to be pretty easy. I hope at least this thing should be able to lift a boat lift. I don't know. We'll find out. Got to say, though, they have a really nice yard. The house is really nice. Man, I should have a place like this. Maybe that's the next project for the company is getting ourselves a lake house built. I think this is kind of attached to a campground. I'm not sure if they're the owners of the campground or whatever, but uh, they are attached right to one because you can see one right down there. All right, we got everything unloaded here. I think we're going to run into town quick, grab some of those materials. They should all be able to fit on this trailer. I think we got to grab two boat lifts. So I'm thinking it should all fit on this trailer. If it doesn't, we'll just have to make two trips. But uh, it'd be great if it did. Yeah, you can see they got a massive lake back here. It's really, really nice property. Super expensive, I'd imagine, too. Oh, yeah. People got all their boats and stuff out here. Real nice place. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, we are just heading back with these boat lifts here and uh, all the building materials for the new dock. We got our hazards on because, well, we can't go too fast with this loader else it's just going to fly right off. We got it strapped down, but uh, yeah, we got to be careful with it still. But I was surprised we could actually get this thing in one load. I thought it was going to take a while. But we got everything we needed loaded on there, so that's one less trip, I guess. But I'll see you guys when we get back. All right, got to take it real easy around here. It is a steep hill. Yeah, but I think we're good. All right, so we did end up making it back here. I think I'm just going to actually just drive this right into the backyard here. Why not? And then I think we'll just get it unloaded from there because it'll probably be easiest if we do that versus trying to take the skid steer all the way around there to the front. It's just going to be a pain in the butt. So I think this will be easiest. But first, we got to get this dock built before we even think about putting these boat lifts in. There we go. We got our forks. Let's go see if we can build a boat dock. See, what was really nice is they actually packed everything I was going to need into these two pellets, which uh, makes it a lot easier. That way we didn't have to have a bunch of little ones that are just bits and pieces of the wood we need. This makes it a lot easier. Well, wood is unloaded here. I'm going to get to work on building this dock. It shouldn't take too long. It's going to be a pretty straightforward build. Once that's done, we got to try to get those boat lifts in there. I don't know. It's probably not going to be easy. It's just such a steep bank, but I think we got a powerful enough skids here that we should just be able to get them in there. I mean, they're not too heavy and they kind of lift up like this so you can get the forks under there real nice and just kind of lift them out of there. 
I don't know actually how big of boats you could put on this. Like obviously not a pontoon boat, but I think a pretty decently sized boat you could put on here. Obviously, we're going to have to get power to these. I think they already got it trenched in here, which is really nice. So uh, we get, don't have to do that, which is perfect. One of my buddies is actually out here for the weekend. He's boating around, whatever. So I might get him to come over and uh, we'll just try out the lifts, make sure they work, of course, once we get them all hooked up here. But I'm going to get building this dock. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, the dock is done and I'd say we did a pretty good job. Uh, we can put a bobcat on it. So I'd say it's sturdy enough. <laughs> I just wanted to double check, make sure it was good to go. This is probably not the best thing for it, but I'll go down and check if there's any cracks. Yeah, no, nothing. I mean, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, let's get the skid steer out of here before I uh, break something on it. But I think it's pretty sturdy enough to, uh, to withhold the weight of a skid steer. And now we got to try to get these boat lifts off of here. It shouldn't be too hard. I mean, they're pretty light, so we should be able to get them off pretty easily. There we go. Yep, just got to lift them up. Perfect. Well, I managed to get one of these off the trailer. It uh, took quite a lot of maneuvering, but we got it. We kind of have to slide this thing because the skid steer doesn't necessarily pick it up the best. So I think sliding is kind of the next best option, even though it's probably not good for it. It still works a little bit better than picking it up because this thing does not quite have enough weight on the back yet. It may be smart to eventually get a rear weight for this thing. I mean, the rippers on the back are pretty heavy, but I don't know if they're heavy enough. Well, we're slowly getting this thing into the water. Got to be careful. I do not want to tip this thing if I can help it. That would be not a very good situation. Oh, we're almost there. Well, it's kind of in the water here. I think I'm going to grab a chain and try to pull it down there a little bit more because I don't want to take this skid steer in there. I do not want to get it stuck. But since I built my dock strong enough, I can actually just get on here with this skid steer and try to pull it out here a little bit more just to get a little bit better centered. And there we go. That is one done. So basically, you, this thing's got like a stretchy tarp on it. So you can take it, make it wider, bring it in a little bit more. You can pretty much move it any which way you want. The client mentioned that they have a pretty big boat. So we kind of made it a little bit bigger, moved it out there a little bit more. I think you can actually move this thing in enough to where it becomes almost a jet ski one. So you can put your jet ski in here if you want it. But client said they got two boats. So I think this should work good for that. Another thing is we didn't have to put this thing out too far because it's a pretty steep drop off right here. So you can kind of put it closer to the dock and the land. So it makes it a little bit easier too. So basically the point of this is when they bring their boat in, they just take it, lift it right up out of the water. They can get right onto their dock and just walk right into their house. And it keeps the boat undercover as well. But we got one in here. Now it's time to get the other. And the other one is going to be a little bit harder because that one was closer to the trailer. And uh, this one is not so much that. So we'll see what we can do. You know what I should do? Turn the beacon on. There we go. Now it'll work. No problem. Well, we managed to get the second boat lift off the trailer here, but it is lunchtime and I am starving. So I think I'm going to go hop on the quad. I'm pretty sure there's a taco shop or stand not too far away from here. I think there's also a couple other shops. So we're going to go check them out, see what we can find and hopefully get some lunch because I am starving. Well, we're just getting back now. Ended up finding a nice little place to get some food. It was amazing food. Really good food. Best I've had in a while. Glad I found that little shop there. It's perfect. This is what I brought the quad for. Its exact purpose was going to get lunch because I didn't want to unhook the trailer. Anyway, so now we got to try get this boat launch in here. And then uh, I might call my buddy over here just to test them out, make sure they work all good. And if they do, then we're done. I don't think we're actually going to have to put in gravel here. We thought we were going to have to for the uh, dock here, but they already had a pretty good amount. So I just moved a little bit of it down there and uh, it works pretty good. So we're going to get this next one in here and uh, we should be good to go. Well, the second one took a little bit longer. We ended up uh, bringing down the mini skid steer to just kind of nudge it a little bit into the water because I couldn't really take it down there with this. And if we got this one stuck, at least we can pull this one out. But we got it in here. It's looking good. I'm liking it. I'm going to call my buddy over here real quick. We'll get his boat in here and just make sure these work. And if they do, then I'd say these were a success. But until then, we won't know. They, they could be a total failure, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. So funny story. My buddy let me take his boat out. So now I get to rip around with it which is still pretty fun. But I think we're going to go try out those uh, boat lifts now. Just make sure they work. Well, at least the one. All right. Got to take it nice and easy. There we go. Bring it on in there. And perfect. Okay, let's try lift this up. And up we go. I'd say that works pretty well. This is kind of supposed to fold down. So it kind of just clips through there a little bit. Actually, does it? Uh, just a tiny bit. But oh, well, I think this is actually perfect. I'm pretty happy with this. So you can kind of just bring your boat up here. You lift it up and you step on, step off. Same with the other one here. This one's a little bit closer. I think we're going to actually uh, 
move this one a little bit but i think we're pretty much good i don't think we can get much better than that this should work amazing and the owner should be really happy with it but anyway guys that's gonna be any episode for today if you did enjoy smash that like button also if you're new consider subscribing hope y'all enjoyed if you guys have any suggestions for builds we should do in the future let me know down in the comments and uh maybe i will pick one of your suggestions anyway hope y'all enjoyed and i'll see y'all next i've got a ton of gravel in my shoes